அருட் பெருஞ்சோதி அகவல் ஹெட்டிங் செவன்டி செவன் பெர்செப்ஷன் அண்ட் கவர்னன்ஸ் அருட் பெருஞ்சோதி அகவல் லைன்ஸ் ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி த்ரீ அண்ட் ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபோர் காட்சியும் காணா காட்சியும் அது தரும் ஆட்சியும் ஆகிய அருட் பெருஞ்சோதி எக்ஸ்பிளேட்டரி நோட்ஸ் கிவன் பை சுவாமி சரவண ஆனந்தா ஆஃப் திண்டுக்கல் this universe is a great exhibition in which we are seeing innumerable things lives powers and energies these objects or visible appearances make vague or deep impressions in the mind of man when they get into the forms of thought layers which at times appear and disappear in minds i or imagination man is created in the image of god so he is intended to know all the common and creator and in the eventual experience he is to live the divine blissful life but before this final emancipation he is to pass through all the physical vital mental and spiritual scenes the life force in man gives power to sense organs to sense experience through five senses man gets the experience of the material world around to the sense experience the mind also is to cooperate with each organ then only the perception will be effective and retained in thought the mind's perception is more extensive than the sensuous one above the mind is soul its perception is spiritual experience which is more expansive than mental one up to these different stages the perception will be objective that is these senses are experienced by a man being separate simply kachi the next one is noted as kana kachi that cannot be perceived separately therefore the former kachi must be taken as kanum or kanapadam hence we have to be enlightened about kana kachi here in this human life the divine soul only is eternal from which all our life intellectual knowledge and sensuous body and its experience have been evolved therefore it is indeed we as an individual divine soul being are extending ourselves from the pristine soul level to the body level in the outer life we hold ourselves separated and we experience the soul level as above ourselves therefore the scenes experienced by man from lower level appear to be objective but we hold ourselves in the divine soul all the senses will become evolution of ourselves this is called subjective and this is referred to here as kana kachi kana kachi the experience of the divine grace itself is expanded into all the world sense besides by the control of that divine grace everything is governed in the whole universe therefore in this divine experience the gracious man of attainment is truly a controller and ruler of the universe our vallalar has got the power of experiencing both the objective and subjective senses scenes of the universe and above all he has been ordained to rule all in fact the omnipotent god was till now ruling from the unseen innermost of everything but now he has himself came out in the perceptible 
form of our vallalar and he is continuing the rule of for ever by the natural law of god man is going on towards the unknown goal of life on the life's journey he encountered all kinds of pleasures and pains and he was unable to get rid of the birth and death cycle by now by the advent of arut prakasar a divine blessed life has dawned upon the planet by his gracious attainment a divine freedom has come to all souls of the universe hence every soul is hereafter entitled to live in the form of suddhasan marga as an immortal man and to rule the universe to bring all perfect souls to his highest level arut parinjodi arut parinjodi tani perum karuna arut perum jodi dayavu